This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets. You got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese? You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Keep it coming, but carefully. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord, hey, I nearly got there's somebody needs to go to confession. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. You here for some fishing? Yes, sir. Nothing more relaxing than some time by the water. Sets anything right. So, you just out fishing? We hope to. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! I'm ready when you are.
I think this is the place that naked fella was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. L let's walk down to the beach. Damn, that hurt. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh... Just think now, you'll never be alone again. You got it. That has got to be the one, right? It might be. Putting up one hell of a fight. Nope, not the big one. Let's keep trying. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs' boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. He feels big. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later.
Come on, girl. Hey, Arthur. Miss Cat, all good? Too good. Like the chance to shoot a fella. on us that much quicker. But the only problem was, no fire brought the wolves on us. Long yes, day, Arthur. So there we were at night. Either cold and frightened of the wolves... I'm down to the scraps here the now, Mr. Morgan. And I could never figure out what frightened me more. Ah, right. now I could turn this into I something special. But I don't frighten that easy. Can't complain. You know what? Why Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Couple night out on that prairie, surrounded by savages trying to eat you alive, and we'll see who the real man is. That's all I'm saying. You can't blame a man for his own. Have that pot go completely empty. Damn it, James. Might as well make some money off. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Oh, excuse me, Karen. I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. Hey, Arthur. Can, can I have a this keeps happening. Oh. 